six. It's just uh, you will let us know that there's no other ones after that. Okay, now we want to find our range of IP addresses or the host addresses. So this will be this is always one greater than the network um, IP address, and it's always one less than the broadcast address. So it'd be, and I'll just write it out with uh, the actual the host address. I mean, because our IP address, our network IP address is 192.168.1. We cannot touch that. We cannot change that. That's not being edited at all. What we're doing is editing the host portions, those eight bits that we have remaining. That's what we're using. That's what we're. That's what we borrowed and used to subnet this IP address. We still have that original IP address. We just broke into smaller parts, um, and the computer will see it as different networks. So our range here is dot one. Dot thirty. Next one is thirty-three. Two. Oops. Three. Dot So we have our the host range or the range of IP addresses that we can assign to an interface. Um, okay. So how I how I see this or how I try to uh, help explain to people, you know, okay, I I don't you know the people that say I don't understand. I mean, how are you getting these these numbers and what is it? Well, it's actually, I like to see it as a piece of string. And I'm going to use blue for this. And what we're doing is we have a piece of string that goes all the way like this, and goes back, and so on and so on. It's actually more like this and it jumps over here like a Z. Um, this is actually just we're just keep we're just keep on counting and we're just breaking it off where to you know cut that piece of string. So we have dot zero, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So it's all here. All the bits are here for, that go all the way up to 255. So we're just cutting. We're just, you know, telling the computer, okay, this is as far as, this is how many, uh, address are going to be for this part and for that part. Um, we're just cutting the address. Um, we're, we're just subnetting it. We're taking a network and subnetting it. Okay, so this this is still maybe very complicated. 
Um, it takes some time to understand, but once you get down, you know, the, the understanding of how it works, how to subnet it, it's really easy to uh, do anything. So our slash notation for each of these addresses will be if we had if we originally we had 24. So say over here this is our final octet and this is uh, say our other bits over here, whatever and we have you know 24. This bit right here is 25. 26, 27, we borrowed 27 bits, so this is slash 27, and our subnet, or our subnet mask will be, we'll add our, our bits that we borrowed, so 128 plus 64 is 192, plus 32 is 2. 24. So our IP or our subnet mask is 255.255.254. Make this blue again because it looks cool. So this would be subnet mask that you enter into all your devices like a computer and then you would take um, or the network address for that would be you know say for we'll take the first one this would be our network address But um, keeping in mind n minus two and some other things also, um, we don't assign the network address to an interface. The network address just is what we use to identify a network, and what computers use to send packets towards a network. Um, they use the network address, but you don't assign, you never assign, say if we had a router, we would never assign an interface 192.168.1.0, um, not only because, you know, uh, older equipment can't use the dot zero or the first subnet and the last subnet, um, but that's the network address. They are assigned, each interface is assigned one of these let me box out for it. Shoot. Sorry, they're assigned one of these range addresses. I'll just mark off here. Oops. Never don't use don't use the first one, don't use the last one. So we have six 